Hey everyone, welcome back to Brent's Hang. I'm Brent Barnett with Gibraltar Hardware. And today we're actually out of the shop. We're on location at Center Staging. And um, we've got a really special day planned. I'm working with Rashid Williams, drummer for John Legend. We are at SIR in Miami, Florida. And I'm here with Omar Tavares from Pitbull. Today we're building a rack at Center Staging for a good old boy from the Florida Georgia line, Sean Fuller. We're building a rack for drummer James Agnew, who plays with Jason Derulo. I'm customizing a spider rack for JT Rollerson, drummer for ASAP Rocky. ASAP's going out on tour with Rihanna. It's gonna be a huge tour. Check out how much fun we're gonna have. I went online and I started looking at some of the other rack designs. Cause you know, most people think, every time they think rack, they think all this crazy metal coming from everywhere. And I'm not a really flashy guy. I like things to be very discreet. So I envisioned having a rack that literally was almost like putting me in my own little space. And it maintained the integrity of the drums, the cymbals, everything else around it and still being an incorporated piece. You know, I didn't want to get a rack that was going to take over the drums. There's Omar's rack in shambles. And he's, I saw a tear come to his eye. He's kind of sulking right now. He's a little sad, which understandably. But we're going to take pieces of that and pieces of that and come up with something even better and even more different. Look, look, he's smiling again. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the uh, kit that will be out on the fall tour, there's going to be three bass drums. So it makes things a little bit, little, bit hard, a little bit trickier to put everything on the stage. That This kit is rather large on an 8x8 riser. Uh, and it's got to split in four. It's got to get off stage quickly. It's got to pack away quickly. But at the same time, we want our cake and eat it too. We want something that's going to stand out. People go, wow, look at that. So you play with, you play with a number of artists, so you yeah. need to be able to work for every so play, situation. Pretty much right? everything, man. You know, Jason Derulo. Uh, Babyface, uh, Lettucey, you know, so it's a lot of, you know, adult contemporary and you got the big pop stages, so need something that's still flashy, but still, you know, discreet, but gives me everything I need. And the design you came up with is crazy, man. It's coming it's together good. perfect. I wanted to showcase more of the drums. A lot of times when I use stands and I, I got a million stands in the way, a lot of times it, it covers the drum too much and people can't really see it, you know? And I'm playing some really cool drums, so I want to show them off. The spider rack gives me that, that opportunity. It allows me to still have everything where I need it to be. Nothing's in the way, nothing's you know, overclouding everything. And at the end of the day, showcasing some really cool drums, man. Yeah, with this one, because a lot of that stuff is super heavy. Mm -hmm. Is that a good height for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You so we can see if the height comfortable. If okay. I did it like that, but I know this will, in turn, get in the way a little bit. No, it won't. What we can oh, do is we can just, we, we can loosen everything and slide this foot all the way back. That was so cool. You just threw that together like it was nothing. Seven foot and seven, seven foot. We got plenty of space. And eleven. Nah, I love the process because we were able to take what I knew to what Brent said, which is smart. And then what Fine said would work for him and we all kind of mentally put it together and we came up with what I think is an, an amazing design. It's gonna add a certain effect to the overall play aspect for me because when I'm sitting back there, everything's gonna be such in the right place. You know, it really adds a really cool concept. No, I ain't tripping at my call at cab, sipping on my beach cruiser rolling. This is really cool. I'm finally sitting behind it. We came up with a really cool design. Um, our idea worked yeah, it to have perfect. kind of a roller coaster type of effect. Dude, you need a little train. It goes right, that over, goes the right over the top. That goes right over the top. And it says Omar on the train. With an LED on it, yeah. yeah. It keeps on going across. <laughs> That'd be better. The positioning of the china was really bothering Sean. He couldn't get it to exactly the place that he wanted it to. I mean, we tried it at different heights. We tried it at different depths further away from him, closer. He wasn't happy with yeah. any of it. So we just decided that some of the length on the bar needed to go. 
Okay, so it's time to attach the crash symbol just above his 10 inch tom. We don't really have a crossbar to mount it to, so I'm just gonna mount it directly to the T-leg. No one will even see that it's attached to anything on the floor. It'll look like it's kind of floating. We have an eight by eight riser that all this stuff has to fit on, and in all actuality, we pretty much fit everything on four by eight, which is unheard of with the size I've of this never, kit. I've never seen the size of a kit on a four oh by eight riser gosh. before. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. Three bass drums, you know, tom, uh, one, two rack toms, three floor toms, a plethora of cymbals, everything just fit on it, and, and it's absolutely stunning. I can't wait to put the, the, the drum kit behind it. It's gonna look awesome. That's perfect. Wait, okay, so you got a crash right, you got an 18 right here. Uh, you got a yeah. crash right here, and then a splash right here. Mm hmm. Coming, okay. coming out this way. That's what I was saying. I think we may have to move Yeah, we'll have to slide that over. Slide just this over. Just All the, the small percussion tables that we have mm -hmm. have a clamp to mount on a, on a tube like this. Oh, okay. So we'll put something, we'll put one of these fittings okay. in the back so you can actually just put like a, a down tube like this and then just clamp the table onto it. Cool. Ooh, this looks nice. We're gonna add um, a uh, adapter for the SBDS on the left hand side. And then I believe it's done. Yeah, it does.